You know just what you do, you do to me. Play my emotions like a pair of pup. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, you are also welcome. So today I'll be showing you guys how I do my self makeup. These are the steps I follow on applying makeup on my face. So guys, stay tuned to the end of this video. I promise you'll learn one or two things. So as you can see, I already sketched out my brows and I already cleaned one of them. I used a, a lighter concealer to clean the outer part and then I use my shade of foundation to clean the outer part and now i am using the same foundation to clean the upper part so that it will be easy to blend so this is me trying to clean the upper side then after cleaning i use my blending brush to blend very well to avoid harsh lines you have to blend very very well to avoid harsh lines so i'm trying to do the same for the other side of my eyebrow as you can see i'm using the lighter concealer to clean the outer part of my brows i'm trying to clean it being very careful and after cleaning i'll blend blend with my blending brush to avoid harsh lines blend 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 Right now, I'm using my exact shade of foundation to clean the inner part of the brows, just like I did in the other brows. So after cleaning, I will go in with my blending brush and blend thoroughly to avoid hash lines like I always say. So right now I'm cleaning the upper part with the same shade of foundation for easy blending. So this is me still cleaning the upper parts of the eyebrows to make them look alike. So this is how the brows turned out after cleaning the brows this is how it turned out so next step is for me to clean my face so i'm using uh, these wipes i recommend baby wipes this is just a beauty wipes but i recommend baby wipes for this so i'm going in now cleaning my face thoroughly so the use of this um the importance of these wipes is to remove dirt from the face yeah so this is me showing you the dirt i cleaned up from my face so next up i'm going to apply 
my pons primer this is me applying it please don't apply this under your eye don't apply it under the eye just other parts of your face especially the t-zones the t-zones are where you sweat a lot like your nose your forehead anywhere you sweat a lot you apply it there make sure you massage this into your skin thoroughly massage it into your skin very well So after applying my primer, massaging it into my skin very well, next stop is applying my foundation. So this is exact, my exact skin shade of foundation. I'm applying it with my damp beauty sponge. Make sure your beauty sponge is wet or damp for easy blending. Do not use a dry beauty sponge. Make sure it is damp for easy blending. So after applying my foundation all over my face very well, the next step is to contour my face so i'm using a darker shade of foundation to do this so i did my face this way to get the proper place to contour then after applying it i'm trying to blend it very well so i won't have any harsh lines and i'm going to repeat this process on the other side of my face too I also contoured my forehead, that's what I'm doing right now. So 
so this is me still contouring my face after contouring this is me showing off my singing and dancing talents because <laughs> why not there's a saying that goes this way all work and no play makes me a doll girl so i had to like dance and sing to like entertain you guys so it won't be so boring next up is the blush so these two palettes that i'm showing you is what i mix the red and the orange i mix them together for my blush and this is me applying it on my cheekbones that's where you apply your blush on the cheekbones So as you can see there is quite a difference or a very big difference between the parts I have blushed or I have applied blush and the part of my face I haven't I haven't applied for blush. Right now I'm applying it on the other side of my face. <music> I also applied the blush on the tip of my nose. Yeah, that's me applying it right now. I applied the blush on the tip of my nose. I make sure when you blush, you blend very well, just like I've done. Let there be no harsh lines. The next step is my highlighting. I'm using these two shades. You can use a shade lighter than your skin. But I'm using these two shades. So this is me applying it on my face. So I applied the lighter shade of concealer on the inner part of my under eye and then the other one on the outer part of my under eye. Then after applying, you blend. Make sure you blend very well.
after blending out the concealer i'm using the lighter shade in my pressed powder palette to apply on the highlighted areas that's what i'm doing right now I'm presetting the highlighted areas now. What I'm doing right now is presetting the highlighted areas. Here comes another dancing episode <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i was feeling sweaty or sweaty i had to use my hand fan at this point so my makeup would break i had to use my hand fan to stop the sweat so my makeup won't break so right now i'm applying the powder all over my face Right now I'm going to use my flawless setting powder to apply on the highlighted areas.
after applying the setting powder on the highlighted areas next step is to contour my nose i'm using a darker shade in my uh, powder palette to do this so i'm contouring my nose right now So after contouring your nose, the next step is to apply your concealer on your eye for your eyeshadow. This concealer helps in making the eyeshadow to pop out well. After applying you blend with your blending brush so right now i'm trying to use powder the press powder to set the base for the eyeshadow before i apply my eyeshadow so I used a darker shade for setting the base for the eyeshadow and I used a lighter shade of the powder to apply on my brow bone to area I used a lighter concealer to clean when I was cleaning my eyebrow. So right now I'm applying the eyeshadow. First of all, I applied the non-pigmented eyeshadow. This is a combination of red and orange. Yeah, concerning eyeshadows, there are three types of eyeshadows. There are non-pigmented ones, there are pigmented ones, and they are highly pigmented or glitters. So right now I'm applying the non-pigmented first. Please do not apply the pigmented or the highly pigmented first. You must first of all apply the non-pigmented and when applying you apply the brighter colors inside and then the darker ones outside for example brown or black. So here I use the black to smoke the eyes. So that's what I'm applying now. So after I used the black to smoke the eyes, I made sure that I blended very well. There was no harsh line. And right now I'm using the pigmented eyeshadow to apply on the out inner side. This pigmented eyeshadow, you don't apply it all over your eyes. You only apply at the inner side just like I did right now. Yeah, I'm using my fingers because I don't have the brush which you use. In applying then you can use your finger or you can use the brush if you have one after applying the pigmented eyeshadow with my finger I went in with my brush to blend in everything very well so there won't be harsh lines 
so next stop is uh applying of your eyeliner So after I applied my eyeliner, I went ahead and fixed my lashes off camera and I repeated the same process on the other eye. So this is the final result after fixing my lashes and then repeating the process on the other eye. And right now I'm trying to apply my eyeshadow under my eye, the under eye eyeshadow. That's what I'm applying right now. After applying the under eye eyeshadow, right now I'm using the powder for my powder palette to brush off the setting powder to pick my face very well. After baking my face, I apply the powdered contour. After applying powdered contour, I apply my powdered blush. So after applying your powdered contour and your powdered blush, the next step to take is to spray your finishing spray. Yeah, I just applied my finishing spray on my face. This will help to calm the makeup down to like make it soak into your skin and look good. You will notice that I used my hands to cover my eyebrow and my eyeshadow. This is to avoid the finishing spray touching them. Because when the finishing spray touches your eyebrow or your eyeshadow, it might spoil everything for you. After applying my finishing spray, I used my hand fan to dry it up. After leaving the finishing spray to dry up, next I went to my lip. I used the facial wipes to clean my lips to make it wet not to be dry mm -hmm. the first thing i did was to use the brown lipstick 
to line up my lips that's what i'm doing now i'm using the brown lipstick for outlining my lip before i apply every other color of lipstick after outlining you blend very well you blend very well before apply any other lipstick a color of lipstick So right now I added another color of lipstick which is pink and I'm trying to like you know smack it to blend it very well. So right now I added another color which is a color that is lighter than the one I applied before. They are both pink but this pink is a lighter pink than the first one after applying you smack it to blend very well after smacking and blending it very well i added a white concealer to it for just a pop of color and then I smacked and uh, blended very very well after blending the lip very well i applied lip gloss so i'm applying the lip gloss exactly where i outlined the way i outlined my lip that's how i applied the lip gloss After applying the lip gloss and blending it very well, I used a little bit of foundation and my flat brush to clean off the excess. After which I used my powder to blend everything so that it won't be showing. Next up is applying of my highlighter. Right now I'm applying it exactly the place I applied my blush. After applying it where I applied my blush, I applied it on my forehead on my brow bone the tip of my nose and also down here on my jaw
so if you learned something new or you enjoyed watching this video please like share subscribe to my channel and comment see you in my next video bye